Hello, everyone. I'm Hoop Smiles, and thank you so much for tuning in to my hooping question and answer video. So in this video, I'm going to show some tips and techniques on how not to hit yourself in the face while foot hooping. So just recently, uh, I believe it was on my uh, beginner foot hooping tutorial, somebody left a comment in the comment section saying that when they hoop around their foot, that hoop comes down and hits them in the face, which that's no good. Obviously, you know, that probably doesn't make foot hooping very fun if you're hooping and that hoop comes down and hits you in the face. So uh, we definitely don't want that. So before we even look at the whole foot hooping aspect of this, um, first things first, check your hoop size. Uh, sometimes just changing up the size of your hoop can make your foot hooping a lot more successful. So if you notice, um, this hoop is, I would say, a fairly smaller size hoop. It's a half inch size hoop that I'm using um, to hoop around my foot. But if you're using like a gigantic size, 160, three quarter inch size hoop like this one right here, obviously if this hoop falls off my foot, you know, it's probably gonna hurt a lot more if this hoop hits me in the face versus this much smaller, uh, lighter, half inch size hoop. So definitely, um, changing up your hoop size may, may make all the difference when hooping around your foot. Definitely consider doing that. Now secondly, if you are hooping around your foot and you're able to get that hoop up there, something you can do is you can actually, um, I got a piece of grass, okay. Something you can do is you can actually uh, use your arms as a block if that hoop starts to fall. So instead of that hoop coming down and hit, hitting you in the face, it uh, can come down and hit your arms and hands instead. So once again, putting that hoop up there, uh-oh, it's starting to fall. So I put my hands up and I use my hands and arms as a block. Now, if you don't wanna do both hands, you can go ahead and just try one hand. Now, something else you can do. So once you have that hoop on your foot, once again, another piece of grass. So once you have that hoop on your foot and that hoop begins to fall, uh, I would say when you're foot hooping, once that hoop goes below your ankle and drops down below, that's when you, you, you lose a lot of the control. And so at this point, you can just put your hand up and stop the hoop from falling because that's when the hoop will probably just fall down and hit your body or hit yourself in the face. So once again, the hoop's on your foot, you notice it start to fall below your ankle, stick your hand up, stop the hoop, prevent the hoop from even falling before it keeps going down your leg. Now something else you can do to prevent that hoop from hitting you in the face is, so once the hoop is on your foot again, uh, and that hoop starts to fall below your ankle, you can go ahead and transfer that hoop to your other hand and begin hooping in lasso position. So once again, when that hoop is on your foot, it starts to fall. I'm gonna transfer the hoop to my hand and begin hooping in lasso. Now, once you do get that hoop on your foot, the idea is you wanna maintain the hoop in between your ankle and the tips of your toes, because that's where you're gonna have the most control when you're foot hooping. And if you notice, uh, for the most part, my leg is pretty stationary in this position. You don't wanna be moving your leg pretty rapidly around, because that's when that hoop could fling off your body, or uh, that hoop may also likely come down and hit yourself in the face, which, once again, I definitely don't want that. So, so the way to maintain it is if you move your foot in somewhat of a circular motion, so just rotating your foot side to side, back and forth, just rotating it in somewhat of a circle, that's uh, how you can maintain that hoop around your foot in this foot hooping position. Now, uh, right now I was spinning it clockwise, but you can actually also do it counterclockwise as well. Whoops. So yeah, so once you get that hoop on your foot, you might have to rotate uh, your foot in the opposite direction as you did uh, spinning the hoop clockwise. So once again, you can also do that going counterclockwise. So 
So if you are still foot hooping and that hoop just keeps falling and hitting you in the head, something you can do is find a way to foot hoop so that it makes it almost near impossible for that hoop to even come close to your head. Now, one way to do that is foot hooping in a vertical standing position like this. So if I balance and foot hooping, there's, I would say, a less likely chance that that hoop is probably going to come back and hit my body or myself in the head, unless if I purposely ugh, went and lunged into the hoop, something, something similar to that, um, which I don't recommend doing. But, uh, but yeah, that's another way if you find that, you know, laying on the ground and foot hooping, that hoop just keeps on falling and hitting your body. Um, it might be easier for you to start foot hooping in that vertical standing position. Now, if you're having trouble with balance, something that can be helpful is find a wall or a tree. Oh, there's a tree right here. And you can go ahead and position your hand up against the tree and use the tree to help support your, your, your body up and maintain your balance. And as you can see, I can also use my hand to help keep my leg up as well. So in this position, I'm also just kind of moving my foot, rotating my foot to keep that hoop up. So once again, to avoid those body blows by your hoop, you can also try hooping in this vertical standing hooping position as well. Also, something else to think about when foot hooping is if you're in that foot hooping position, another way to prevent that hoop from hitting you in the face is purposefully throw the hoop away from your face. So if you notice that hoop starts to come down, you know, put your, your, your foot down, bring your leg down, and purposefully fling that hoop um, in front of you. Now, something to think about when you do this, it is possible you could fling that hoop uh, towards your body and have that hoop hit you in the body. So um, that's one of those things that you might want to be a little bit more comfortable with your foot hooping before you purposefully start flinging it. And also, too, you want to be careful if there's, you know, people around. I mean, if you're hooping in a park and it's a crowded park, uh, definitely want to be careful. Don't want to hit like a little child in the face. <laughs> that, uh, that probably would not be good. Um, could be some lawsuits. You know what I mean? Definitely don't want that. But, uh, but yes, yeah, so hopefully you have enjoyed my my little how-to tips slash techniques video on how to not hit yourself in the face while foot hooping. So if you would like to make any more video hooping requests, like you want to learn hoop tricks or um, know more hooping tips and techniques, please leave a comment. Let me know what you would like to learn. Also, like my Facebook page. You can go there, make requests for uh, hooping tricks, tutorials, tips as well. Uh, now, because of the high volume of requests that I get for certain videos, I may not be able to get to your request. But if you do like my Facebook page, you could be part of the process of selecting some of those videos in being made. So the more popular requests that I get are probably going to be the videos that appear in this series of questioning answering hoop videos. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have an awesome hoop journey and your foot hooping is incredible. And may that hoop not hit you in the face. Have fun, enjoy, and hoop.